Let's give a moment for it to turn up. There we go. Uh, well, no, this is this is way more wacky than Moon Crash. Actually, I should get rid of the controller and plug my mouse in. Ugh! Because my mouse, my mouse does run on uh, wireless batteries and usually just runs out at like the most in inopportune moment when I forget about it. So maybe now's the time to just like plug it in so it can charge. Here we go. So many cords everywhere. Yeah. So those unfamiliar with the uh, with this game, <laughs> the uh, the randomizer is. Uh, it's version 0.3, and it's ran it's a it's a mod, and it randomizes a lot of different things. It, it adds a lot more weapons to the game with randomized ammo types. So I have a glue cannon that fires nine mm rounds like a machine gun. Uh, it randomizes enemy spawns, so there is almost has almost guaranteed been a nightmare on every single stage of this goddamn of this goddamn game so far. Uh, it also randomizes uh, dialogue, so everything is like a bizarro fever dream. NPC models are also randomized, so no one looks like they should. And even the model for Morgan is randomized in this. There is a mode where you can randomize where everything connects to one another if you want to get really freaky deaky. But we're just gonna we're we're just gonna go with those ones. Oh yeah, and also. Just general objects in the game's world are, are randomized as well. So there's a lot of weird things in weird places. Do not be surprised to find, uh, like... Well, I, I guess we can just look over here and so, like... You know, like, we've got a thermal phantom that's dead. Come up here. I have your voice. It's a tactic to ease your natural suspicion. I you realize this. I mention it so that you'll know I'm earnest. You already have the key card to Alex's escape pod. Oxygen supply. Yeah, so that's an example of the uh <laughs> That's a, that's an example of the the voice randomizations you can get. Uh what what is on the corpse was randomized. You're making a mistake. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I've generally, generally speaking, there's going to be a lot of really weird things around that we're just going to have to like to deal with. So we'll we'll poke around and we'll take a look, and I'll sort of show off what we mean. Uh, also, the yeah, also the the tree is randomized as well. So we've got a lot of things, in a lot of weird places for for a scientist. Like ha hacking two is here, whereas hacking four is is here. Which means that anything that's got like a 4 or a 1 on it, we can hack. But until we actually unlock hacking 4, uh, sorry, hacking, yeah, hacking 2, we've got hacking 3 there. Um, like, we can't hack anything that ha has like the hacking 2 icon on it. It's kind of weird. Also in this, uh, certain plants we pick just keep giving us stuff. Okay, we can, we can unlock this one anyway. Oh god, this one's, this one's all over the place. And this is this we just got through uh, all the other places to get to the arboretum. This is our first visit here, so you can sort of see there's like a sofa on the shelves here in the arboretum. There's a phantasmic glue gun, which I believe uh, just uses exotic ammunition to fire. Would it would rapid fire kinetic shots and kill us? Uh, the phantasmic weapons are a little bit a little bit weird. Yep. So you've got things like eel tanks and. And tomatoes and things. Uh, yeah, V. I just have to rem remind myself what that is. Neuromod. I can definitely. There's a. Are you? A... Okay, you're definitely Ooh. a mimic. Can you come here so I can kill you? Fucking banana. <laughs> So, uh, there's really not much else that can be said. I'm not, I'm not really ready for the wackiness this game is going to unleash upon us. I think that's the first time I've ever had to, like, wrestle around with a banana mimic in this game, too. So, so that was a good first for me. Generally, there's, 
Okay, so you... Ooh, this actually... This will be interesting, because usually in this room, there is a... There's a telepath. And it's mentally dominated a whole bunch of people. Uh... I don't know what's going to happen if the mental... If the telepath's not in there. That's actually going to be interesting. I wonder... I wonder if it randomizes anyone. So Dr. Thorstein? And for the record, your bottom looks frumpy. Thanks for getting Shadri back to us. She's still rattled. Well, the mind the control people are still in mind. there. Oh yeah, he's still there. Hey, dude. <sighs> Warning. Suit integrity below 50%. Pressure loss detected. Starting oxygen supply. <laughs> Let me down! Okay, so that one stays the same because that's like a, a cutscene sequence to introduce you to the telepath, so that makes sense. I had been wondering. We'll, we'll poke around a little bit more before we think to go in there. There's still a lot of stuff to like, to deal with. Get over yourself. It's all about you, buddy. Good afternoon, Talos. The time is now 12 p.m. There's a fella down there somewhere. So this is my this is my machine gun. There are many like it, but this one is a glue gun. Uh, I want to go over there. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. I guess he saw me. So that's my machine gun. You wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't normally get access to something like this in this game. <laughs> but <laughs> the glue gun being uh, being able to fire nine millimeters. Oh, we aren't wearing the suit. Yeah, see it randomized my model, right? So I'm in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other important thing to remember. Is this entire <laughs> everything? Everything is like a fever dream. If you remember a certain thing, a uh, certain few things about this game, well, uh, a lot of it you might have to toss aside because a lot of it's going to make no sense whatsoever. The uh, William U. Bench. Can I read that note? Yep. Hold on. I ca apparently don't have the leverage required to carry a small painting. And you've, you've, your body has dropped it on the... Ah, that's annoying. Can you move it? No, okay. I may have to come back for that then. Because there's a, I think there's a Neuromod under there I can't get at because the Because somebody, Iris, can I drag you over? Oh, god damn it. Come on, game. Iris, work with me here. Oh, no, you're just clipping through it. You're useless to me. I think I saw a Neuromod. And neuromods do grow on trees here, but I still wanted that one. Okay, I don't need to fully skin you. I did. It's gonna shoot that guy in the knee a few times. I'm sure he won't mind. I need more room. Blue cannon ammo fabrication. Well, there you go. I certainly get a lot of those. And also, like, this thing fires nightmare shots. I still don't know what a nightmare projectile is. Let me just... I'm sure I've still got a nightmare gun here? No, I don't. I've got, see, I've got a lot of weird variations of guns here. Roll with it. And I don't have two. Oh, yeah, I can... You cool, man? Be cool. Be cool. I'm just gonna have to try and fit myself in here. One sec. I'm opening doors. Okay. Let me let me open door. Okay. 
opening door a lot more difficult with shotgun. Uh, I've actually just instead opened the, uh, the the personnel log, so we'll have to hack our way in there when uh, when I get enough neuro mods, which I think I have enough neuro mods. So let's let's just do that. Okay, we have full hacking now. We can basically just get in anywhere we want. The let's you know the, you can get into via hacking anyway. Although hacking too, if I remember correctly, is a nightmare. Because you've got to do two bounces, but you have no time to do it in. They do stuff like that. Yeah, the uh, the the squeaky toy shotgun is. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot about you. How did I almost forget about you? It's like object permanence, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> squeaky toys. Probably got more foam bolts than I'll ever like humanly need, but whatever. Utilities. Download the area map. Gone from like one weird adventure game to another. Eat my noodles. Get some Q beams. Can't get through that one until we get the key. Oh, one thing I always liked is that how, how like the game would tell you when certain things were held by certain individuals. Like the game, the game, this game has like a really ex, like this game, it's not too dissimilar to, to Resident Evil, has really thoughtful design behind a lot of the things you do in it. So, yeah, so here's the big thing, the Dwarf Red, the Dwarf Red Cosmos, uh, is actually, uh, a Neuro mod, I think, I think I picked up a Neuro mod, or I dropped it on the ground, yeah, I dropped it on the ground because my, my, my everything is full, hold on a second. Eh, uh, is there something I've just got, like, one of? Yeah. Pomegranate. I'm gonna go back to the other place and, like, juice all this stuff again. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the scattershot creates infinite... It creates infinite scattershot for, uh, for the gun. You should you should have seen it, uh, you should have seen it when it was the... Are you? Can I? Okay, you're just, you're just there doing new things. I should just kill you though. Hey dude. Huh? Is he coming? Or was that what the game considered the nightmare? Okay, well this is the main lift room. Now I'm just really confused. Because that guy is technically the nightmare? <laughs> uh, when the nightmare is coming, uh, we will see his big icon coming. Let me just go to the loading bay, I guess. I don't know. Yep, there it is. There's the clip. <laughs> the clip where I uh, where I immediately ate my words and my thoughts and my deeds. I really do not need more of these goddamn mimic beacons. <laughs> uh, telepath shotgun. I really should see if that goes off my psi. I really don't know. I'm gonna sell all my alcohol. Drunky vision is is handy sometimes. I've got like a hundred and one things of like exotic material. I've got so much exotic material, it's kind of wild. And I can then just sort it. A bit more room. Yeah, I don't know, like... Because the game kind of, like, reveals the existence of... of the nightmare when you first come here. Like, he, he, he looks at you through the door and, uh, like, January's like, I don't know what that is, but that, that seems like a problem. There we go, last one. Machine, machine gun, best gun. And I kind of, every time you go in there, it just sort of, like, the noise of the, uh, of, of that area keeps sort of going off. 
Uh, Jenny, what you got for me, Jenny? A Voltaic Hunter... Voltaic Bolt Caster, okay. Which also fires exotic ammunition. I knew the Arboretum was going to be great for Neuro mods. <laughs> it's just... This is... This is... Oh, I'm going to take that cigar of yours. This is like the, the, the best area in the game, really. Cool. Let's see, we're just going to... It's a fight! <laughs> huh? Hey, that's... That's where we came from, man. You can't be going and hiding in there. You can't be going and dying in there. I have no idea where your body is physics to. There it is. Disruptor batteries, okay. I don't want to know what you've been eating. There's like a whole side quest about like making fucking tomatoes and stuff here as well. That's such a weird side quest. Obviously that's uh that's the big boy's house. Our, our brother. Wow, okay, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shush. Oh. There's a few ways you can approach this particular quest. You can sort of go in the front door, try and sneak in another way, or as I think I did in the let's play, is I just sort of just sort of goofed around a bit. Hold on, let me just That's what was that? I forgot I had the Typhoon Lure version of that. Um, but I've also got a uh, don't I? Oh no, it's the pistol that's the glue. Hold on a second, glue pistol. not how glue works, guys. <laughs> that is not how that should work. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Do not sperm in space! Stop it! Oh, man. What the fuck? What happened? What happened? You used to be such a wholesome video game. Um... We'll work on this one? No, uh, this is weird. Okay, I don't... I don't understand what's happened. But it's pretty clear we can't, um... We we can't get in here as easily as I would like now. Uh, so we may just have to wing up a different plan because my plan is usually... Uh, like, if we can find, like, a glue gun, an actual glue gun and not a pistol glue gun, I guess, we can try and sneak our way in. Just gonna put my head around here, make sure there's nothing. There's so many different things you can take advantage of. Oh, yeah, there's the space shuttle out there. I love that one. We're flying out there and looting it. Does this gun work at all? Oh yeah, it works. Oh, come on, stagger back into view, please. No. That's always annoying. That's why I'd like to get up the top so I can scan those guys with like my, my psychoscope beforehand. There's still a few objectives we need to follow through on here. No, I don't need an EMP glue gun. So there's apparently just a mimic over here, hanging out. Hey, dude. Huh. So let's go. Let's go poke around up over here. We can't get up. We can't get up to where uh, to where Alex is just yet. Or at least in terms of the game, we can't. Um. Okay, that seemed like that, that animation didn't even play properly. So maybe the game's starting to come apart at the seams, who knows. I, d I do enjoy a bit of a, a game becoming something something monstrous sort of sequence. Oops, press the wrong button. Oh, ironic. Have you found... Nah, uh, wrenches are the only ones that don't actually get the weird effects on them, interestingly enough. 
Uh, we've got literally everything else, but wrenches will always be wrenches. And the wrench you get at the start is mandatory. But we do have thermal shielding uh, instead of pistols. You know, so we have like a hundred of those clogging up my menus. I should probably stop picking them up, but I will never stop picking them up. Burnt circuit boards. The biohazard waste instead of a shotgun. It's always, it's always good. Me and my underpants. We can go down to the bridge. The bridge is where, uh, where we get to make complex moral decisions. Sorry, we've already, already dealt with this guy. Rather, we've already scanned this guy and his ilk. <laughs> and deep storage is a location we'll have to go to as well. I think that's where the plot necessitates you go. Yeah, uh, we probably won't go where the plot necessitates us go for a while, just because I want to explore around some of the other places because they're fun. So yeah, we've got deep storage, we've got the bridge. Let's go to the bridge, the bridge is fun. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to the bridge. We've got no reason to be here. It's, it's kind of weird, because that, that, that glue pistol was working last time I used it. So I don't know if something's happened since then. <laughs> but I don't, like, I don't like my sperm gun. My sperm gun is, like, worrying me greatly. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting very traumatized by my weaponry. I mean, let's, let's try it again. Let's try it again in, like, a more inside environment. So it just doesn't work in the Arboretum, I guess. Maybe it doesn't. It just doesn't work on the treehouse. The, the greenhouse, sorry. Anyway. Pretty sure someone down here is, is a mimic. So let me just... There he is. All the things to remember. You want to go too, buddy? It's really weird when, like, the Mimics want to fire. When the Mimics are like, yeah, step up, son, see what you get. So what's that? The escape pods. Oh, right, the escape pods. I remember the escape pods. They're always, they're always a fun time. Ready for anything. Everything is ready for us. Or something of the sort. Debug build version 0.7.6. So let's take a look around here and see what we got. I mean, aside from you. Uh, uh, oh, hold on a second. Wait. Oh, it's not a Where you at, buddy? Reveal, reveal to me your existence. Okay, just knock the turret over. Come on. It's a phantom. I want to scan the phantom. I want levitation powers. Think I killed him? There we go. Cool. Oh yeah, he's just carrying the Q-beam. Cool as you like. Okay. Give me a sec then. Let me just uh... <laughs> yeah, just you know, it's the, it's the Q-beam. Just, you know. The super laser gun. Just, it's on a random enemy. Let's just eat. I need like space, one more space. Come here, cookies. 
Okay, I need one more space. <laughs> That's a big one. Well, the glue guns generally work in, in the Arboretum regardless, so I don't know. Maybe the game's just being super weird. All right, here it is, the Q-Beam. You, the, the, the best example of a point-and-click adventure that you'll find in this game. You just focus the beam on someone and eventually they kick the bucket. Can I download the area map? Yes, I can. Not that there is much of one. We'll go up to the captain's quarters and we'll, uh... We'll make a, we'll make a complex moral decision. Let me scan you, real quick. Come on, me, friend. Integrity below 50%. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. This might take a little bit. There we go. There's that problem solved. Let's get you all these bananas. <laughs> More exotic material forever, I guess. <laughs> this man was planning on escaping with all of his with all of his his dim sum and was crushed by a tape drive. I'm sorry, Bill. But thank you for access to the uh thank you for access to the to the briefing room, I guess. So many, just so many weird things. So yeah. Here we go. Here's here's our complex moral decision, With the escape everyone. pods useless, we have to fight. Oh, I am Officer Rose. Al, thank you. Too many people, too much death. How did this all happen? I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people. Everything go well? Yes, it feels like years. Let's just see how good my calculations are. There must be some other way. Aren't you going to be late? I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. You're going to get me in trouble. I was in fuel storage when... When the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. Are you going to take everything? Talk about an understatement. We don't know how many of those things are out there. <laughs> Thank you, Al. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. <laughs> <laughs> Without a noise like that, yeah, I bet someone dropped off another. All right, so we're got an important decision to make. Do we do we let the shuttle that's possibly contaminated land, or do we blow it up? I'm letting you decide, chat. I'm giving you guys the difficult moral quandary. <laughs> I'm seeing two for blow it up, so... Uh... Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the blow-ups have it. Uh, oh, again, let me do it. There we go. Well, that's somebody else's problem now. By somebody else's problem, I mean the atmospheres. Scott Parker. More cookie. That's about it. That's about as exciting as this room gets. I think. I don't think there's any. Any particular tricks or or hidden doohickeys around here? We got the bridge safe. 
<laughs> you got a lot of codes and you get a quest for a pistol. Uh, sometimes I just let them live. I don't even think they ever comment about it, to be honest. It's kind of weird. I think it's just like what's one of those things. It's one of those things, I guess. Another briefing room thing, just in case you didn't go up to the captain's quarters for some reason, or captain's desk for some reason. I always like this too, like the cameras and everything. You could all do a lot of fooling around and, and sort of realize this thing isn't, uh, this isn't actually like a really great view. It's, uh, it's an external series of cameras. Okay, don't harm me. The cameras, are, uh, the, the touch screens are being a bit weird today. New people, yeah. New people got no reason. Klepka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos One. As a reminder, all personnel must eat okay. monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos One. <laughs> Relocking that door, never going in there. As quick and painless <laughs> as possible. <laughs> He's fucking in there. <laughs> really? Let me scan you then. If we're gonna do this. Suit integrity below 50%. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. Warning. Suit integrity below 50%. Contamination right. detected. Starting oxygen. Thing is, we know me by this point. I wanna, I wanna rub my face on treasure, and uh, you know what that means, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw myself in there like a complete psycho. Oxygen supply. We just need to, uh, we need to be ready. We've got... It's, it's the, it's, it's our time to shine, guys. <laughs> okay, so, uh, really gotta stop using that gun. <laughs> It'll say skeletal trauma when we get the new when we get a new skin. <laughs> Fuck, I love that gun. <laughs> okay, but what if? What if we tried that again? And this time we were. Oh. It... I think we got him. I think that's it. I think we got him. It's just the thermal now. Easy. GG Nuri. Victory B. So much right away. Let's get eat all the eels. There, all better. I'm afraid yeah. I can't treat psychological issues. Look, let's not talk about what I do or do not deserve. Uh, you know, like sometimes you just you take a shotgun. And you load it full of things that you probably shouldn't want to load it with, and you shoot it. And magic happens, as you can see. Now, like, sometimes you just gotta show the, the giant, horrible monster thingy who is the boss. And I am the boss. I must have so many lemon peels now. I'm probably just, like, drenched in lemon peels at this point. Weird noise. I don't know why I keep picking those up. <laughs> I've got a million of them. What the fuck? I don't even remember if these noises are like part of this sequence or not. Just that there's these noises. Probably just nudge that. It's probably not a yeah, not a mimic. 
I would have thought that, that like that would have been a, the best poker face to make of all time. Psychological issues. Yeah. So that was uh, that was here for now. Like this place is relevant later, but I just wanted to do that. So let's get. What, how am I turning myself around this hard? Let's go check the escape pods because there's still more to kill down at the escape pods. No escape. More importantly, there's more wacky dialogue. Cystoid nests. Ah, cystoids, eh? I know exactly how to deal with this problem. <laughs> Hold on a second. Ow! My limbs. Yep. You gonna come, come say hi? Where'd you go? I wanna scan you, poltergeist. I'm gonna scan you like you've never been scanned before. There we go. This game gets so much easier when you're just like you're funct you're like you're cheating, basically. <laughs> uh yeah, I don't think it's here. It's in another place where, like, someone's trapped in the escape pod, I think. There's, like, one where they're like, Oh, man, we're trapped. Can you please, like, open the thingy and finish the launch? And then you can just sort of, like, blow them up. This is where the, uh... This is where the... This, this particular place is where that... The the chef, quotation marks, goes. Leaving a big trail of... He'll, that, he'll actually be scary to deal with, you know, once we, uh, once we meet him. Because we aren't immune to we aren't immune to recyclers today, so <laughs> that's actually uh, that's actually a scary prospect. It's not even like a significant cheat either. It's like a slight alteration of like one weapon, and suddenly the game just goes, "Yeah, whatever. Now <laughs> you win." <laughs> Although, although, admittedly, that alteration is fires recyclers. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, it could be. It could be out there somewhere. The immunity to uh, the immunity to being recycled, but we don't know where it is. We have no way of knowing where it is. It's a pre-order item. I don't even know if pre-order items get shuffled or not. I mean, the the pre-order shotgun got shuffled, but I just don't know if it uh. If it got changed to something else, moved to somewhere else, or if it's just like we, we, and we'll never see it again, or if it's just a lot of other things, I don't know. Got another phantom around here. I got a weaver. Well, that's cool. Warning: suit integrity below fifty percent. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. That's just rude. That is. Solve you the same way I solve all of my problems. Oh, that's a completely new problem. Hold on. <laughs> Chase the squeaky toy. Come on. You can do it. Stop doing that. That's it. We're out of uh, we're out of nine millimeter ammo, so we're gonna get some more. No, I don't know why I did that. Don't ask. Me. Ah, you, you guys really waited till now to do this, huh? Okay, smart pa smart asses. I'm fucking. I'll play that game. Just let me eat all this food first. Yeah, you think you think I've I've got nothing to work with here, but let me tell you something. <laughs> 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 
So, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that's the telepathic shotgun. Uh, I knew that was going to be pretty good the second I, uh, the second I found it. God, I love this. This is like one of my favorite features of this goddamn game is the looking glass. The whole f just absolutely screwballing your, your concept of being able to tell what the hell's going on. Let's uh, let's equip the uh the psychic shotgun for a little while longer. <laughs> the telepath shotgun. Okay, we don't need. The good news is there's a lot less self harm in this one. Just uh, a lot of very slow moving projectiles that may or may not hit one day. There we go. <laughs> this is my... Feel the power of my mind, motherfucker. Diagnostic check. Verbose. There you go. Debug build version 0.7.6. Target for lost. Scanning target. For me. The one thing I've noticed we just don't get any of is the med kit. I've got to know what the med kit's been switched with because it doesn't exist. <laughs> I haven't actually seen any weapons that fire Q beams yet. It might just be the Q beams being what the Q beams are don't have a variation, but I could also be grossly wrong about that and seriously underestimating just how weird this game is willing to get when randomized. I do like this randomizer. I'm very interested to see some of the other weird stuff they come up with over time. Because these are all pretty cool ideas. Yeah, there's not a huge amount of stuff down here. Obviously there's... this room. Which is not easy to get into unless you've got, like... super strength, I guess. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Sorry about that, Karen. Just so many of the same thing. Hey! Seven bullets. Oh, and the music is also randomized, so if it ever just sounds like the game is, like, being real weird, that, that's what, like... ...of what will one day become Talos 1. Please activate psychoscopes before opening containment screens. <laughs> Put this fire out, I think. It's a occupational health and safety thing. The, the wheel spiral is like my favorite thing, by the way. <laughs> the games have wheels. We got a, we've got like a spiral. There we go. So look, the shotgun, like the pistol works. It works and does work. Oh, right. Yeah. Impact dampener. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? Hey, Lane, this is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? They've gotten Dr. Yu! Anybody in there? More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. Look, I understand. I really do. They wouldn't be human if this was easy. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. And <laughs> get more of the Typhon lures, because the game just wants to give me all the Typhon lures. Um, I don't want another tape pistol. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. Can you get it open? Why is Commander Dahl after you? Your father, he's on the Transtar Board of Directors. Why arrest his own children? Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. Star the real star of this show are the audio logs at this point. I... 
Oh, cool guy. You haven't, you didn't watch the first stream, did you? I kept telling you, you gotta watch the first pre stream to understand what's happening. Uh, you, you, you basically have to piece it all together yourself. Let's go. Let's let, let let's go to to the crew to quarters. Let's go to crew quarters, which is up and around. Man, can I repair you? Uh, that sounds like a nightmare, actually. Yeah, that's definitely him backing about. This is actually a naturally a naturally occurring, properly occurring nightmare though. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. So uh, yeah, like he's actually supposed to he's actually supposed to be there. He's he's something that the game throws at you, like, naturally. Yeah, this, that, that's the actual, that's the actual nightmare that's supposed to appear. Oh, Caladium plant stems were actually Caladium plant stems. I'm shocked. <laughs> Just a note, don't worry about it. He didn't seem too interested in, like, coming for me though. Oh no, I don't have, I don't have access to crew quarters yet. Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to probably have to activate the elevator first, I guess. Well, let's get back to the elevator. I was wondering why that, like, turret was destroyed, though, because, like, I could've sworn I repaired that guy. If you recall correctly, the card on the dude is next to deep storage. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I guess deep storage is where they send you next, and then they send you back again. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Neuro Neuromods grow <laughs> Neuromods grow on plants, so why feed mimics? I don't know. Bad science. Why does Alex do anything that he does? Because he's got space madness. As we all do. There's a little space madness in all of us. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Do, do you mind? Anyway, Let me scan you. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex. But all my models point to suffering. He's just gonna make this extremely difficult on me, isn't he? Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to be a little more careful when I walk into that room. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Dr. Yigwe. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the Apex, but all my models point to suffering. 50% pressure loss detected. Starting oxygen supply. Oh god, he's deactivated my things. Please, please cease. Okay, so that's not gonna work. That's not working either. That's actually exploded me. My soul is, nullif soul is nullified as well, apparently. Okay. That's annoying. Uh, it may just be a uh, yeah. It may just be time to to crack open the uh, crack open the fun gun. Can you stop? Fuck it. All right then. All right then. We're gonna be doing this, are we? Gotta, gotta go and kill him. 
And that's annoying. Okay, can't can't go in with anything but full auto. It's giving me the nightmare tracking thing, which is kind of weird. This guy's fucking. Oh, he's gonna fucking run away from me. And keep bringing these motherfuckers back. Die. There we go. Okay, so that's that's freed me up a little bit. Just gonna devour everything. And, you know, if necessary, I've still got all that caviar. I'll show you the power of fine living. I hate you so much. The, it's the constant making things not work. Yeah, telepathy gun's probably what I'm gonna have to use. Jeez, uh, it's it's the it's the constantly making the thing spawn that makes it so I can't hit him with anything. Thing. Yeah, I hate this guy so much. Oh god damn it, I didn't even have nearly enough ammo for that fucking thing. I'm trying to hit him with anything's an absolute nightmare too. These uh shots aren't really doing it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So Definitely seems like this guy sucks, the big one, against literally everything I've got. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything I've got really does a whole lot, so... Do I have anything that I can use to really just make this guy miserable? Do I got, like, anything? Really? Yeah, the uh, the ho the homing is kind of kind of uh, super fucky on this. So I may just uh, leave it, and we'll go to deep storage for now, and maybe hope to find something that doesn't suck. So we'll do that instead. Because <laughs> I don't know how to take I don't know how to handle that fight with uh, with how things are at the moment. Because. It just genuinely can't, like, there's not enough room to, like, fight him from a distance. He will, uh, he will just shock me relentlessly. <laughs> oh, dear. I was never getting to use the stun gun because I was, you slow down when you're aiming it to charge it, and then it wouldn't fire off because he'd shocked me before I could use it. So it was just kind of like, yeah, like, why am I doing this? Do I have an EMP gun though? I don't really have too many EMP charges for it though. I do have an EMP gun, just not a lot. Just not a lot would work on it. Oh! Oh yeah, the last time we tried it, it didn't work too. Oh huh. uh, no, this isn't the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go around behind. Probably shouldn't be spending all my time angering the uh, angering the nightmare, but anyway. He doesn't seem particularly predisposed to what's following me. I think he's just going to get bored and leave. While I go to deep storage. Poor lemon peels. Logs. Morgan, take a deep.
deep breath. Here. Officer Hayashi, there we go. Dr. Yip. <laughs> we showed him. I owe Captain Elazar so much. Now she's gone. Roger that, boss. <laughs> we shouldn't talk about them. Not without your brother present. What? Spit it out. Well, she did. But only so we could take in the sweet, glorious curves of her ass. Please stand away from the door, Dr. Yu. <laughs> Check with Elazar. She's running the show since your brother sabotaged the station. All right, Ivy, but look, don't do anything stupid, okay? Ivy? Ivy? Shit. So now we gotta go down. I'm sure there are many Transtar personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Main lift and all exterior airlocks are fully functional again. There's nothing to stop you now. Resuming. Nice work. The lift is responding again. <laughs> yeah, that bad time it was just hanging out waiting for everyone to have its turn. No more Q-beams. Alright. Three quarters should be uh, a hell of a trip. <laughs> I guess I don't particularly expect we're going to finish this adventure at all. <laughs> I'm mostly just in this for the, uh, I'm mostly just in this for the wandering around and enjoying the insanity of this place. Oh, the band set piece. Oh, God. I feel like that's going to be a nightmare. Like, in terms of nightmares, I feel like that's going to be, like, the big nightmare. Well, we've got... Bernard Griffith, mind controlled. And you. I find you outside your prison. Maybe trying to escape? Like me? I do this again and again. Help people come to kitchen, see what they have, kill them. They're just trans star. Eh, they will come back later. You, not so much. Freezer. It is what I hit bucket be sent first. No eggs behind your eyes. <laughs> no black swimming. Hmm. Others come, try to talk human. Get me to open the door. Kinda weird he's doing his thing and I haven't even got anywhere near him yet. Can we? Do you wanna? Okay, so we definitely don't want to try and go in there at the moment. There's <laughs> all this stuff here I could probably have jumped over in the past. Puppets. And then they bring us back here. You bring us back here. And kill us one by one. Feed us to your beasts while you watch and take notes. Stay down, while I slowly beat you to death. Okay. I think I want to eat that banana, because I'll fucking do it. I'm crazy. <laughs> Just everything about this place is so fucking wild. Alright, so the grav shaft code, that's good. Like, I, I I don't even remember where half the stuff here is, but at least I know where this is, so that's good. Because we've got a lot of stuff to stuff in it. Yeah. There we go. There's never enough inventory in this game. Still more thinking power. Let's uh. 
anything else that's kind of interesting here? I feel like that's a good one. A little space in the suit. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with actual inventory room. That's about as good as it's gonna get too, so we better better get the most out of it. Listening out for all the weird stuff that might come popping out of the woodwork on us. Yellow tulip. See, this is this is this is a good bar. I like the I like the seating arrangements they've got here at this bar. Whatever whatever chairs and everything they have just exploded the second like I entered the area. <laughs> the uh. Well, at least the instruments are still what here. Is, uh... Yeah, okay then. <laughs> well, I guess that still works the way it's supposed to. I guess. That is what it's supposed to be. such a wacky little spot this one. Always a trouble to get into. That's a trouble getting in here. Yeah. Come on game. That's a good point, I haven't found any Psy Hypos either. No, you mention it. Yeah, we've been kind of, uh, kind of... Oh, what what happened to the bar? I want to see what happened to the bar. Oh yeah, look at look at this range of drinks they've got here. They've got weapon upgrade kit, synthetic material. Uh, yeah, I have a tall glass of suit repair kit, some expired plasma, and some Typhon plasma. And up over here they've got a, a shotgun critical, some banana peel, a Typhon cortex, and more banana peel. It's pretty good. Yellow tulips are actually yellow tulips, which is probably the scariest thing that this randomizer has done so far. Uh, you know, I can actually, I can actually make good use of. Uh, actually, no, I can't. The shotgun, the shotgun thing makes no sense. But anyway, do I even? Is that like a scope chipset? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Increase the critical chance when firing the shotgun. For for all the good that's gonna do us. Considering I don't think critical damage is the problem. Uh, yeah, so we need to we need to restore power, which means we have to get into that thing I can't get into right now. Thank you. You gotta get funky to get through, I guess. Thank you. Alright, so let's listen to uh, Alex's toast. I'll send you the scan locations. Graves, do not touch the Neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Morgan, don't listen to that guy. He's an asshole. The older version of you is a lot more interesting. I would like to introduce you at some point. For now, you should sit tight. The Typhon weave it out of the thin air. The question is why? We have a lot of theories, but no solid answers. Not yet. It's yeah. easier the data to confirm what you suspected. The coral is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching out to oh, the stars. That is toast. <laughs> to the neuromod and the future. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You better 
get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Morgan, this isn't you. Doing the bidding of that psychopath. <laughs> anyway, let's get uh, let's get some more turrets set up in here, because I feel like if we're gonna be going. If we're gonna be going full crazy with this stuff, we're definitely gonna wanna... At least we've actually got like lots of room for like a full good amount of coverage. We'll go get that other one in another area. Did you fall over? No, you're alright. I don't know why I trusted your uh... I don't know why I trusted your dialogue. <laughs> That's so the one thing we probably shouldn't be trusting at this point is like the the listenability of your dialogue. Ah, oh, it's just a, a nest. Really should be saving more often. I don't know when I'm gonna turn around and find Mr. Nightmare. It's been sometimes been items down here. Just this chair. <laughs> That's a cinema power play, by the way. <laughs> Everybody else is watching, and you just watch the audience instead. I've seen this movie before, but I haven't seen you here. Thanks, Squeaky. You're really safe today. Let's just check in and uh, watch our favorite movie, Transgressions. Uh, I gotta admit, this is kind of like the... the weirdest part of the whole thing, really. This is just like this old fucking movie. like high supercast fucking cinema. It's not even like a looking glass. So weird. Is that soap? Transstar soap. Anyway. So that is one way to put it. More foam. We don't need more. We don't need more foam shotgun. Can I scan you? I can. I don't think I get much out of it. Let's let's put our problem solving skills to action here, folks. Why is the etheric phantom already damaged? Ah, oh, probably bumped into something, if I had to venture to guess. Might have, might have been hit by something that like went flying out or walked through like a fire effect or something. There's a lot of things that can go wrong in this game. You came back and from the old side, huh? Fixed elevators. Thank you. Now they can move free. <laughs> After they eat you, maybe I take your suit. Hmm? Become a you. Get shadow access. Can I just say, it really, it really just fit. <laughs> this isn't Resident Evil, no. Uh, I did. It does say. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I did forget to actually correct that, but I did say I was doing it afterwards. So yeah, I'll just duck in and I'll fix that up real quick. My apologies.
yeah, no, it uh, it does it does say I'm doing it. I was doing it afterwards. I was just going to uh, actually go in and update it properly so it's actually correct on the correct tags and everything. I always forget that's a thing I gotta do sometimes. Here we go. Uh, how far am I? Uh, <laughs> God knows. Um, <laughs> Uh, I've, I've got to go to I've got to go to deep storage. Uh, uh, for that, I'm gonna have to. I you know like I I've actually. Hey hey get out of it get out of it. I haven't actually looked at my oops I haven't looked at my objectives screen. Uh, the entire time I've been playing this, I've just been sort of winging it. Oh okay, okay don't hurt me. Uh, everything is just hurting me today. We're in the we're in the we're in the living quarters. I can tell you that much. Oh, the guy stuff. There's the mimic. I was looking for. Yeah, I wanna back out of this area. I don't wanna piss off the. I wanna piss off the people because I run up to and they explode. Beast. You think you can kill me with them? <laughs> I mean, I haven't heard most of the dialogue from the uh, from the quotation marks chef before of this kind, which is interesting. I'm not entirely sure what you got to do to get it to play. Yeah, this is a uh, this is. One of my all-time favorite games. Let's get this up over here as well. I don't know about any others in the area. I think that's it. There's no guarantee that I will be able to do this sequence, though. Um, silly and optional as it is, I don't have a huge amount of weapons to play with. I mean, I have my, I have my gun. I have my machine gun, but it's not very fuel efficient. All right. Let's survive a minute. I'm just gonna kill him. Uh, I didn't want to hack it. Okay, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> is anyone else gonna turn up, or is that it? The military turrets. <laughs> Nicely done. What if I made you my friend instead? I 
hitting X. I just have to like wing wong my hand in like the weakest position to hit X. You work for me now. Alright. I guess I did need to do that sequence anyway to get like the full voice thingy. Because it's still it's just kind of funny. I don't think I can move! <laughs> okay. I do think there's like a, a, a thing I haven't listened to as well. Let's uh data. Audio logs. Is there one I haven't listened to yet? God, it's really hard to tell to be perfectly honest. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? Hey Lane, this is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any okay, we have listened to this one already. They've gotten Dr. Yu! Anybody in there? More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. Look, I understand. I really do. It wouldn't be human if this was easy. Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos 1. Can you get it open? Why is Commander Dahl after you? Your father, he's on the Transtar Board of Directors. Why arrest his own children? Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. That is but one of many ways to make friends. Is there a way I can get the carrying power easily? <laughs> Leverage one is like nine neuromods, good to know. Yeah, the one thing that would be useful. I can carry, I can pick up things that are heavier, but not that. Uh. Alright, let's go. Oh well, at least, at least we've got more neuromods. <sighs> it's gonna pick me some, some freshly, freshly grown neuromod, and maybe I can actually do it now. And there we go. Okay, let's go, let's go open that room up now. We'll do that, even though I don't need to. Uh, Moon Crash doesn't do that. Like, there's no, there's n there's no randomizer for for Moon Crash. So, I mean, it doesn't need to be. I've I've actually 100 percent at Moon Crash and done like a full like let's play and shown all it all off and everything like that. So I don't really, I don't know. I might do it. I might do it as a thing someday, just as like you know, if I'm feeling bored and sassy. But I do have a few other games and things I wouldn't mind playing. So Moon Crash, Moon Crash isn't high on the high on the agenda. I found this mod mostly just because I was, I was really curious to see what like what randomizers exist out there. So I found a I found a comprehensive list of games with randomizers because I'd been playing Bloodstained, uh, Ritual of the Night, and I found it there, and I really quite enjoyed that randomizer that's built into it. But. Uh, and I would probably stream me playing that, but then I noticed this instead and was like, oh, this is good. This is the this is the good the good shit right here. The the good makes no sense plays ridiculously kind of shit. And it's yeah, it's a bit a bit better than I thought it would, to be perfectly honest. Get some more Q beam cells for my Q beam. <laughs> Get thrown across the room for my Q beam. More ammunition for my like I haven't I haven't had a single one of these goddamn I just love the cardboard operator box. It's like my, my favorite thing. The it's just, like Talos One had its own like Nintendo Labo stuff going on here. <laughs> oh hold on a second then. Got a got a bot. You know what that means. Uh, uh, that's a good question. What how, what does it mean? Gonna let me kill you? It's not gonna let me kill him. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I might have to actually. Uh, 
That's weird. They might have changed something recently. Usually I could just uh, click on that guy and finally kill him. There we go. Cool, man. Forgot, forgot my buttons, I guess. Is there someone, someone shrieking over there? What was that? Integrity below 50%. Got a lot of mind control folk Contact around here today. Starting oxygen supply. Hell of a lot of grunting noises, anyway. It's love. It's when you go to like the really like built-up places and you find out just how much everything's been randomized. It's pretty great. <laughs> oh, I got hit by I hit by two bots. Okay. Did they both send the same message, did they? Wow. God, I've, I've hit the big time today, haven't I? I got, I got two of them. Yeah, no, it's alright, I killed it. I'm the, <laughs> I think Cool Guy's the only other person who could do moderating stuff for here. I, I can't remember if I did or not. Increases weapon damage to marked enemies. That's actually really good. Uh, I'll take Shotgun Critical off and put that on. Because if I scan an enemy and mark them, then, then yeah, they'll die easier. And we're just keeping all the spare parts around. It's kind of funny how uh, how easy it is to just go around getting into shenanigans thanks to this. It's Elazar's room. Did you hear? I do extra damage to you now. Fool, you stepped into my domain and it was the last thing you ever did. Yeah, they finally uh they finally put my bedroom in the game. Mimic detection. I remember that one. Feels a bit pointless to use here. You know. <laughs> oh god. Can I There we go? It. Ah. I just gotta break things in there. The the machine gun's kind of weird because uh, its its damage is flat because obviously you can only increase the uh, generalized efficiency of its uh, of its glue gun aspects. You can't actually you can't make it do more damage. It's very unfortunate. There we go. Psy hypo fabrication plant. Well, I've got that now, I guess. <laughs> These two suckers. Really don't, those don't look like they're very happy to be there. Sorry dude, it's just what I had out at the time. Is the poltergeist actually going to still spawn though, is the question? Behold, it was me, the Mimic, haunting this place! How embarrassing. Alright, got it out of your system? You just know whoever, that, whoever owned all that stuff was in for the long haul. They were like, yep, I've just had Taco Bell, I ain't leaving for a day. Space Taco Bell. It's even worse than regular Taco Bell. I'll be back for you. I can't remember, is there like a... Uh, probably a different way through to there. I can't quite remember how to get to some of these rooms. <laughs> 
Might even have to like transform into something and like tell or teleport through or something. Oops, I keep alt tabbing by accident somehow, even though I didn't actually hit the tab button that time. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually, or when I uh, when I pick enough uh, pick enough plants, I eventually have so many neurobots I can do literally everything in the game and equip literally everything in the game. I'll get to Daniel's cabin soon enough. More bullet. I don't even know what that was. Ah, this is this is the real trophy. <laughs> the saddest part is, is it's still not too delayed to make a toilet paper joke in 2021 because people are still doing it. Oh my god. Mr. Bellamy. The Mech Tech DX. <laughs> I guess that was the item I was seeking, after all. Reduces the time it takes to repair an object. Yeah, okay. Sure, why not? Warning. Suit integrity below 50%. Okay, there we go. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. So then we'd be able to go back to Bellamy's office and fuck around with it, I guess. Went to Mr. Thorstein's room already. Elizabeth just got the same expression on her face I usually do playing this. A little bit of a head to head tilt, a little bit of a. Excuse me? When I die, I'm going to make sure uh, it's in such a way that when someone comes to move me, I just sort of fall to the floor awkwardly. Just gonna, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna be very difficult to find. That's what it was like. Terrifying. <laughs> huh. They're so less scary when you can do this to them over and over again. I don't know it's important that you do be able to do that, but at the same time, it's just like, man, it takes it out. Oh boy. It's under the seat. Well, that sense of humor is probably why Morgan got reassigned. There was someone else in crew quarters, pretending to be the cook. The tracking bracelet was from Psychonics, but like... the ID didn't make any sense. What? <laughs> Officer Cool is dead. He went out fighting. And this is the reward I... <sighs> Make sure he doesn't get out. I'll see what I can do to help you from out here. <clears throat> but do it quick. I don't have much time. And there's something else. <sighs> but watch your step. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. His tra bracelets from psychotronics, but the ID doesn't make any sense. <laughs> There's so much Officer going on. Officer Rose is down. We should secure his ID chip for his family. Let them know what happened. That was different. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. But instead, you're telling me this to one, protect me, and two, teach me not to be a hypocrite. What about password? I'm sure it's fine. Three, you want me to be a better person. Four, that is why I love you. Is Tamiko all right? Tamiko! So, I found your sticky note. The one under the desk, with your password, Kirkos. What are you doing? Are you recording this? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone's <laughs> up there evacuating. Shift's over when the sun sets on Talos. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Officer Cool is dead. He went out fighting, the rest of this, and this is the reward I get. Did you make arrangements? I'll know he's gone the same way I knew about Abby. I have a tap on the personnel roster. Ready for orders. Once you're in, look for a manual release. <laughs> and 
I think this is the last bit I, I needed. I hear the report being written in my mind. Just let me know the details about Dahl's accident and I'll fill in the blanks. <gasps> then your ass is space junk, like me. <sighs> I don't need to know the details. Better that way. Now get into deep storage. Probably the only safe place on the station. I heard Commander Dahl tried to kill us all. And he had to be shot in the face in self-defense. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. We did it. Area secured. See? All settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you gonna invite me to this game or not? If we can get the Eradicators operational, we might be able to secure the area. Goodbye, Morgan. Oh, okay, I'm all full up. Cause I better go back and uh and and, and destroy everything. <laughs> it's ruined just ruined everything about this guy's weird set piece. There we go, everything's back to normal. And here's the uh the luxury suite. Pretty obvious there's someone around the corner here. Good morning, Miss You. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. <laughs> right away, Captain. Morgan. <laughs> The whole damn station just went dark. Whatever <laughs> you're doing, stop. This is Fowles. Hey, I forgot to mention. The crew might seem a little tense when you come in. Everyone's been putting in extra hours. Nothing to do with you, so don't worry. Well, that's all. Enjoy the view. Oh, God. Please tell me you killed that thing. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. I'm going to... ...with the cargo bay. See if I can rendezvous with the other survivors there. <laughs> uh, just the the dialogue is the gift that keeps on giving. I think. It will volunteer thirty seven, but it's hard to say why. That's great. Only to catch you if you suddenly collapse. And only if you keep me from punching Alex if I drink too much. No, like what? Okay, do you still want me to finish this array? I fabricated a shit ton of glass. Good night, Dr. Calvino. Auspicious. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. I know it's a lot to ask. I don't know what else to do. Sit here and starve, I guess. <laughs> Sweet mother of Jesus! My vision's a bit blurry, but I'm doing better. Heard you took down Doll. I owe you the beer. A case of beer. Even if she didn't make it, she'll still find a way to take it out on me. Can't wait to let these turrets loose on those shape changing assholes. No offense. Hey! Ammo, check. Breathing, check. Scared, check. <laughs> I love these dialogues so much! Uh, half the time I don't even need to say anything, because this game's just have got like just slowly descending into like complete madness on its own in the best way possible. Tell me the golden gun is in here, but I, did I even bother to check to see if the golden gun was in here? No, the golden gun isn't in here because the golden gun I already possess in my inventory, so... I don't think I'm ever going to finish that quest. But that's okay. Let's go up, uh... Sell this crap. I say sell this crap. Grind this crap up. It's a, it's a different kind of slowly, don't worry about it. Uh, I really should use these weapon upgrades. Let me just... <laughs> you 
use them on an actual weapon. Definitely upgrade the Q-beam, for sure. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. Might be a little more useful now. That military operator does not want to leave the bar. I suppose I can't blame it. Uh, let's go to the executive suite, shall we? Check out everybody else's room. Actual gun, what is this? Yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know, I found it somewhere earlier today. So I have, like, I, I've, I've had the Artemis gold pistol for a while. And all that shenaniganry. Hey, dude. I have to, like, go outside and repair something to be able to get access to that one, I think. <laughs> Alex's employees just love him. <laughs> they, they love working under Alex U. Alright, so, yeah. I, I, almost as much as Morgan loves baseball, I think. That's probably the best way to put it. Ah, uh, the old, the old everything surprise. It always catches me. The literally everything surprise. Salvino, colleague. Alright, I need to I need to remember I need to remember some things just in case I forget because of removing all the neuromods. So what do I need to say about Danielle? Research. Calvino's secretly working on new looking glass device. Deep brain stimulation. Memory rescue and reconstruction. <coughs> <laughs> if even one cell gets back to Earth... <laughs> wow, you feel that way about your ex-girlfriend? The problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. Alright. Alright, it clearly doesn't want Michaela to so, get back. The type and organisms have been producing an elaborate structure. Material is unknown, purpose unknown. In order to get what you want, you have to die. Alright. But, if we succeed... <laughs> Copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is going to change everything. That's why you forget. <laughs> oh, dear, no, kids don't don't do neural mods. Not even once, twice, or even like half a second. It's just not worth it. You start you start living like this man with his with his awards in his sink. He can't, he can't, he has to, he can't go, he can't go without jazzercising at least once a day. It's absolute madness. His floor is forever wet. <laughs> God. Oh, I love this randomizer so much. This, ra this, ra this randomizer just makes everything better. Do I got a key to Alex's room yet? I don't think I do. Nah, I'd have to actually get up to his suite to do it. Hello, Mr. Argentino Perot. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I've just got really good stamina. It's like the one thing I've got going for me in this hellhole. I mean, aside from the neural mods growing on trees. Hmm. 
There's nothing really that good in here. <laughs> His floor is forever wet. Sounds like an ancient curse. It is. It definitely is. This thing is always weird to me. I think it was like something was wrong with it and you could like look into it or something. I think it glitched out when I was doing the let's play of this game, I think. You could sort of like, you could just sort of see inside of it when you shouldn't have. Now, I guess we really gotta go and take care of the, uh, get take care of Big Thinky Boy. Because if we can take care of Big Thinky Boy, maybe the, the problems we've been having everywhere won't be so big problem. The problem is, is the cafeteria is a is a hotbed den of of mind blended people. They all went wandering off in this direction and uh, I honestly don't really have that much in the way of, of, uh, of shock stuff. I used to sort of crawl in and just like violently sh electrocute everybody and that was usually good enough. Can't really do that this time. Let me just check in. There we go. So let's see if we can't find them. There he is. Okay, so it's, the telepath doesn't seem like he gets his position changed too much, all things told. This guy looks like he's trying out for the cover of a Borderlands game. Now he looks like a Borderlands game after release. Huh. What is this? Why do you obey? You can't fight the beast voice. Come inside, quick now. There is. Yeah, I need to. I need to track down. Where is he? He's all the way over there. Well, all the what rest is... of them. I wonder. What was that? That guy's still there, though. I suppose the other question is, is, uh... Do I have a Null Wave gun? Because I think Null Wave can help. Do not. Yeah, that's the ticket. I knew I had something for this. From downtown. Hell yeah, it's me, the guy who still manages to not murder everyone. Yeah, that's right, I'm the hero. Because I say that, I'm gonna turn around and someone's gonna get, like, violently exploded because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Fucking scientists, man. Look at this shit. <laughs> the music just gave up. The music's done. Oh no, it's back again. The, amb the ambient track has returned. Don't worry, friends, I got you covered. Just you and me now, big telepathy boy. Let me tell you something. Glad the game reminds me to scan things, or I'd forget. Warning: suit integrity below 50%. All right, what are we going to use to kill this guy exactly? I guess I might as well telepathic shotgun. Contamination detected. 
Starting Man, these shots. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you trying to kill me? God damn it. Okay, so this shotgun is like every other variation of shotgun. Incredibly, incredibly bad for me. <laughs> I wish there was a safe room you could find all your saved people in. Yeah. I mean, there isn't really a huge reason to save them, but... <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like, you know, I'm tapping the side of my head here. I'm, I'm not just, I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. All right. Well, I tried to do it, I tried to do it, a, uh, you know, one way. It's pretty clear the game wants me to do it a different way. Behind your puppets, huh? <laughs> Kill you? Saves them? Keep it closed. We do not need to keep twisting our luck. I open the door, I'll let you in. Yeah, no worries. Dude. Happy to help. I guess. Oh yeah, right, got it. Neuromods. <clears throat> give me give me all them sweet, sweet neuromods. There we go. <laughs> Best part of this randomizer, I said it before and I'll keep saying it. Just all the the neuromods growing on trees. You've always gotta you've always gotta do shit like this, Chris. This is why everyone hates working with you. Fucking asshole. Always got always gotta show off and one up everybody. Yeah, the uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna I'm, <laughs> I I think I'm gonna take this uh, this shotgun and I'm gonna like stuff it in a hole uh, because it's bad for me. It's bad for everybody. Uh, it <laughs> I don't think I don't think any of these shotguns has has been uh, anything but a, like a detriment to my my continued existence. <laughs> I was not Your ready suit. for for Will as Alex. Give me your name tag. You? Um, am you? Am you? You kill this yourself. Ah. If you want to come in, be safe. You go. Get something of mine, huh? Here, key. It opens my room. Go there. Get my award it's important to me then maybe we talk <laughs> it was i was like the game still the randomizer has still managed to catch me out i wasn't ready for that that was that was definitely an experience I wasn't I wasn't really quite ready for 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 Alex. <laughs> Alex being the secret psycho killer. Oh dear, randomizer. I love you. There is there is still one more mind control dude in here with the poltergeist too. I really should do something about him. Cuz I still got I've still got a null wave or two. Oh, Francis. Francis is already unconscious. Just David needs to go. Okay, David. <laughs> now we just gotta worry about the poltergeist. But you know, little the fly. Reveal yourself, buddy, or uh, or was now that I think about it, that might have just been like a set sequence that might not have actually even been where the enemy is. Everything sort of popped up around here, but 
I guess we'll find out. Man, it's quiet in here though. I can hear my own thoughts. Shoes with the zippers. <laughs> Don't ask me where this thought process is going. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted another hand. Wait, what? Okay, there's something else making that noise. Uh, well, no, it just did a, it just did like an effect there. Like, I think there's supposed to be a poltergeist that spawns in a sequence there, but it might have spawned like something weaker or something stupid. Man. Why it's so important to save these people, otherwise their heads get explode. No one wants that. I've also got a room full of uh room full of dudes Whoa. over here. Cold kills you first. Make you into a frozen puppet. Yeah, I have no idea if these guys are still around or not. Nothing. She was nothing. Never mind. They're all still there. That was weird. Did you all just see that? When I looked to the right and all those doors just opened? And then closed? What was that about? Oh, that was freaky. Anyway, cook's room. Fucking, fucking super ghosts all up in my randomizer, freaking me out. Wait a second! Someone posing as the cook. Killed Abby. Abigail Foy. Ran sanitation. You wouldn't know her, but she was... Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Alright. Shit. Investigating cabin. I could have weapon upgrade arm. kit instead of thing of bananas. If all clear, I will attempt to EVA to an airlock. Set your transcribe to record. Doctor, you, Morgan, up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Oh, Jesus Christ on a stick, Abigail. Why, Doctor Morgan? What a pleasant surprise after all this time. Shall I prepare? Wish you would let me have a shot at doll. But you seem like the type that doesn't leave a job half finished. You? I am so sorry. <laughs> Every, everything just everything is just like I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be doing in this room actually, because it's like I've got to find his his award, but I don't even know what his award is anymore. Is it a quest item? Is that it? There we go. Got thrown halfway across the fucking room. More code for the the sweets, just in case you missed it before. Uh, yeah, I think all those those what? question mark sounds were just more dudes hanging out here. Yeah, so let's go. Uh, let's go take care of the chef. <laughs> By take. It is all that is between us and beasts. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put a few rounds in this man's skull. <laughs> You're one of them. Please, I I'm not a threat to you. You found something? Huh. Have to let you in. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> Go round. The side entrance. Very excited. Uh, we're we're about to kill us uh, the, the chef. 
Stop making those. There is no quilt in here. I know who you are and you. I see. There am you and your uniform. You watch as you open my cage. Let me see the beast you keep here. You are safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure glitter... It is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. No water? Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? No. <laughs> oh god, I finished the golden gun quest, so that's good. Screaming is loud right now. Getting close. <laughs> yes, this is uh, this is pretty randomized. From the future. And you, screams of people on Earth, screams an animal, makes one caught in a hunter's jaw. Now speaking piece of chunk is silent piece of chunk. But he does not eat me. Maybe he does not like how I think. <laughs> Just... My brain is wrong, or maybe you decide to stop when I scream. Maybe you're one too. Huh? Come on. <laughs> his, his, his dialogue doesn't seem too out of place, all things told. There you go. You fix? Mm, smart one. Here. I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. Yeah, look at that. He, uh, he's gonna come over here and open it up. Okay. I did not imagine it. You, come to... He knows what he did. Get in the fucking soup. Okay. <laughs> Well, at least Skillet cares. Man, he really hated cauliflower, huh? A lure shotgun, huh? Okay. <laughs> you know, if just in case. God, I, almost, I, I would almost take that and, like, take a hundred fucking lures and just fire them out everywhere, but the, the shotguns have just been causing me so much trouble in this randomizer. <laughs> we got here? Chloe. We got Kevin. We got whatever was going on with that one. Is there a mod where recycling grenades works on dead bodies? I always thought it... I thought it always worked on them. Rerun of the station will add more fuel to the fire. But if this helps anyone else escape, it's worth it. His tracking signature makes no sense, though. 
Might be one of those volunteers you and your brother were cycling up here. He's still here. He can't have gotten out. You want to do one good thing. Just one. Find him. Kill him. Anyway, let's go. Oh. Morgan. Doll will know you're coming. All Transtar personnel are outfitted with tracking bracelets. You're still going to activate the self-destruct, aren't you? Search the hardware lab for spare parts. Alex tripped the emergency override. Main elevator shut down. I'll see if I can find another way. But hurry. The Titan aren't slowing down. The coral substance is spreading across the station and we still have no concept of what it does. Just gonna recycle all this stuff. Look at all that. Uh, and also that golden gun, because I don't need two of them. There we go. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the telepath sh shotgun, because it is, is, like a lot of everything else, killing me. Uses to construct more, more of that sweet, sweet ammo for our machine gun. That, uh, that shouldn't exist, but does. This is, this is my glue machine gun. Uh, I wonder if I can actually build null wave transmitters. I feel <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird, but I feel like I, I I should be able to. I probably don't. I probably don't have that capacity, but I'm just gonna go check anyway. A glue shotgun. <laughs> I mean, a, a glue shotgun. You just want me to fire it at the greenhouse and like fire more spooch across across time and space? I know what you mean. I know what you want. Nah, but nah, bugger. <laughs> I feel like skillet makes more sense. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get the null wave out and see if we can't fix a couple of these uh, these broke brains. Very carefully. <laughs> Calm down. And stay down. I just have to be careful. Because there's probably some more of them out there somewhere. You know, it's a simple matter of finding and killing the telepath, uh, and then all the rest of them should should be fine. Shit, I transcribe. Shit, I transcribe. Scan this guy first. Morgan, suit integrity below 50%. Contamination detected. Starting oxygen supply. Get it off! Oh yeah, you you think you you think you got me, my friend, but I got I got an answer to the telepath problem. Well, it probably just res results in someone getting killed then, but all. There we go. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, it's one of those. Someone's irradiating their pool. Gotta love it. And now they're irradiating me! Now... Yeah, gotta go over here. Just to get more. Hi. Um, your spacesuit. Morgan. <laughs> if you're here, then Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't. There was someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. He. I think he's the one that killed Abby. <laughs> I'm guessing you're the reason his bracelet went red. I owe you one. And so does Abby. <sighs> Nothing more I can do for you right now. Except... I stashed some supplies in deep storage. They were supposed to be for me and Abby, but... You can have them. I'll send the code. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. Goodbye, Morgan.
Okay, bye. <laughs> Models are swapped around, FYI. In case I brought, you know, in case I see one still wondering what, what the hell was going on with the uh, with space space Danielle who looked like an old woman. Let me get my let me get my glue pistol out here for a second and fix this fire problem we got going here. I represent the desires of Morgan Yu, circa January twelfth, twenty thirty five. Your brother created me to ensure his objectives would meet with success, and that yours would fail. Signatures left the crew quarters. No, it's what it looks like. Frank is a piece of shit. Hey, Monica. I, I got an SOS <laughs> from a Kirk Remmer. I was gonna route him to security, but we got cut off. He said he was at the escape pod. Harmonica! I know you spoofed my voice to get in there. And now you're stuck. Some family. Thank you for saving us, Morgan. I thought the creatures were... Bad. Now I know trans stars even worse. Those files were supposed to be closed. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos One. Had a meeting with the great Alex Yu today. He gave me one of his bullshit I'm sorry's with no resolution. Between him and Morgan, it's like a tradition. You family sorry. I wish I could have been more. <laughs> I always love that line, the you family, sorry. I tried to restore the power, but the fire was too much before Al, Officer Rose, I'm pulled continually me out fucking there. this up. Oh, we got more transcribe. Test 23. Image sensor dynamic range. All quiet here. Chief Alasar. Building the EAT turrets isn't a guarantee. Nothing sure at this point. More where that came from. I'm doing it too high. <sighs> I can't find that open airlock. All right, never mind then. <laughs> never mind then. A double never mind then. Well, <laughs> like listening to the text to speech from a Marco, but yeah. Look, pray, pray randomizer is uh, is basically just a lesson in how much you remember from when you've when you've previously pr played pray. Uh, and ultimately, it doesn't matter what everyone's got to say because you're you're zero focused on what you remember. I don't, I, I don't really understand what I'm picking up half the time, but I'm definitely picking a lot of things up. I really didn't need to pick up those bolts. I, I have like infinite bolts. I don't need to pick up more bolts. Doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> A kinetic blast firing crossbow? Why not, right? It, sure, it surely won't backfire horribly like when I tried to do it with the glue gun or with the, literally any other weapon in the game. I'm sure it'll be fine. I think that's the fitness center properly looted, though, which is nice. I have uh, I've well and truly looted this place down. <laughs> Me out. The reason why I killed the chef, uh, for those who might have been wondering, is because if you don't kill him uh, and you go in there, he escapes and he starts planting um, recycler devices everywhere. Which on one hand, one, which on one hand would be good because I could always definitely use more of those, but on the other hand, would be an absolute nightmare to deal with. <laughs> Um, because I don't have the immunity to it, so I would be dying and reloading a lot. Because I never, ever, never, ever play without that that thing on. So I just walk into everything and die. So I, I, you know what? It was also because he looked like my character's brother. He also looked like Alex. So it was very important to kill him and try and put him in the soup. We had to push the fat man. I'm sorry. I wonder if the randomizer would randomize these recycler traps into just like random loot. Now you mention it, probably. Okay, we're not getting out of here easily, is the thing right now that we need to consider. Uh, we gotta, we're gonna have to get fucking super fucky on this one again. Oh, 
geez, how am I going to do this? Um, it's going to have to use the recycler for this. <laughs> the nightmare. Yeah, the nightmare is uh, at the top of the stairs, just hanging out. I suppose you let me scan you if I come from the other side? So let, let, let's be honest, it would be nice if I could get your, get your deets. Finalize my, my super typhon powers. Suit integrity below 50%. There we go. Contamination detected. Let me just... We should eat some food. Drink my energy drink. Starting oxygen supply. Okay. Nice ass. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, there's a lot going on right now. I, I don't need you coming, by the way. You should definitely, definitely. Oh wow, you are like seeking me. What? What? Well, I got some of him. Shift aboard Talos One. Our resident counselor, Dr. Okay. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. I feel like that's doing too much damage. Though. Oh, that was doing damage. Okay, let's just uh take a moment here. <laughs> just enjoying seeing cool guys responses to like the randomizer and everything that happens with the randomizer and the horror that is the randomizer okay 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 I'm just shooting myself in the face with this thing more than I'm shooting anything else it's kind of annoying I have to whip out the old machine gun again, it's my solution to everything, drink all the beer. Just get super rotted, absolutely intoxicated. It's the perfect time to be operating a machine gun. Is like a, and he was carrying more alcohol. That's what I like to see. You alright, buddy? Tell you what. Let me fix you up. You need a good fixer-upper. There you go. You are my friend now, and to my friends I give the power of life. There's the second one. There's a, there's the second one, just... Why though? Well this is the real one, I think. This is the actual real one. Um... Uh... It is hurting him. 
If it's not nerf, it's not the nightmare. like the most hostile nerf fight in existence right now. I'm winning by the way. Yeah well in the traditionally uh, for, for the statement it sounds like one. That's because it is one. You use the phone tip dots to like press touch screens and stuff. It's a really cool mechanic in the game. But um Yeah, this one shoots psychic bolts of energy instead. There seem to be a degree of tracking on this one too, which is nice. Alright, who's the other guy out there? Ah, oh, it's just angry healbot, that's cool. There we go. Contamination um. detected. Starting oxygen supply. Okay. GG Nuri. For all the resources you expend on these things, and all you get from it is like moonshine. Like, you put all this effort into killing this thing, and all you get is, like, alcoholism. Oh, 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 you coming for me, buddy? Oh, yeah, you, you've definitely come for me. Actually, I can scan you, can I? Oh, no, I've already full scanned you. Where'd you go? It's a it's a randomizer at Kaz, so basically what happens is is that um, the, all the dialogue has been randomized, uh, enemy placement has been randomized. Man, wow, okay, you're out too. It's a it's a regular who's who of uh, who I'd rather not be seeing. Do we got any better weapons out here? Hmm, not really. Uh, I guess I'll just have to resort to the old favorite. What the mint? Gotta eat all the snacks again! Keep in mind, uh, just for the general benefit of everyone watching, I have not found a single health kit this entire game. I've been sustaining myself entirely on snacks. Oh god. Well, it is, it is a who's who of who the hell invited these guys. Is that Mimic? Voltaic Mimic. Thanks to Voltaic Phantom over there. Okay. Definitely getting into feistier territories now. He's still coming? He's still coming. Let me just repair up. I <laughs> am. I have all the types of diabetes. <laughs> Rather than saying I have type 20, like, type 25 diabetes, I have 25 types of diabetes. It's probably the correct way to say it. Okay, what can I try and kill these guys with? Uh, definitely not nerf. Let's 
such a waste. Also, I'm missing. Ow! My butt! Please don't zap my butt. Is there someone? Why do you sound like another nightmare? You're not, you're an operator. Okay, you're you're one of the you're a controller, I should say. That was an earlier one. Oh my god. Man, this this area got a hell of a lot less friendly. Okay, that doesn't help either. Let me just fix that. With the power of uh the power of my glue gun. There we go. God damn. Gee damn. Well, any ammo I was going to hope to take in there to deal with those things in there uh, has been well and truly scuppered. I do not have the, uh, the not necessary bits and pieces to take that trouble on. I should go down to see if I can't make myself more ammo now in the, in the loading bay, because I can make ammo in the loading bay. At the very least, man, that thing just loves making noise. Uh, um, I haven't used my EMP, uh, my EMP grenade gun much. <laughs> I guess the one, the one thing that's been carrying me through this is just my capacity for being able to just like create infinite, infinite fucking, <laughs> infinite fucking gunshot bullets, gunshot super gun bullet, gunshot bullet shotguns. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the best at, uh, I'm the best at prefabbing uh, things because I have so many recipes. It's my, it's my, it's my super glue gun. It's fine. There we go. I will expend this ammunition in seconds, but it'll be precious seconds spent killing, uh, killing things I don't like. Oh, there's another phantom around here somewhere. That's good to know. He's probably down in the lobby. I'm not sure I can take care of the telepath in the greenhouse without violently murdering everybody. Oh, it's just... Look at you, dude. How are you... How are you... How are you even subsisting on, like, one sliver of health? Uh, still, my favorite part of this... of the lore of this entire adventure has just been that I am running around in my underpants <laughs> this entire time. <laughs> Anyway. Psychoscope user mismatch. Please calibrate your scope before entering examination area. Corkscrew. Three. Psychoscope error. Please recalibrate before entering examination area. Decontamination completed successfully. Stand by for oxygenation. Launch aborted. <sighs> she showed up. <sighs> she never left the station. She tried to help. I think she was always trying to, but... <sighs> Look at my workstation again. I'm exposing a utility that'll open a data vault module. By then, it had already stopped Volunteer 37. Hard to say why. <sighs> Deep storage was built with a series of data vault modules that can be jettisoned from the station. <laughs> cool. There we go. <laughs> So onwards and onwards and onwards we go to deep storage. Oh uh, dear. Yeah, Morgan's just he's in his underpants, he's got he's customized a glue gun to fire bullets, and he's he's just mad. He's just mad about everything. I 
I'm just now you're talking about diabetes. I'm just imagining Morgan sitting in the chair and like an Alec, like he's just put the he's put the neuromod in his eye and the needles, and he pulls away and goes, "So what was that one, Alex?" And Alex just leans in and goes, "Diabetes, Morgan. I've just given you diabetes." Which one? All of them. I see blood is messy, Morgan. But Even it's the some only new thing ones. In the end. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. <laughs> Morgan? Maybe. I, I see a person who looks like Morgan. You? The device you mentioned is an advanced version of the Null Wave. I know. Wait and see what's on the inside. Mr. Harold. There's been a change in your flight plan. I'm sending new coordinates along with the route you're to take. <laughs> Usually there's a lot more uh, a lot more things in this room to start us off. That's probably so. a bad assumption. It is, of course. Your prerogative to disseminate it as you see fit. Or to destroy it. We must focus our efforts on quarantining the Typhon threat. Interesting. Yeah, usually this place is a lot more active. <laughs> What's wrong, man? You don't want you don't want diabetes from your dear brother Alex. I was really confused as to where he was and didn't just want to swing wildly with explosive barrels around. <laughs> Just imagine, Morgan. Every day you wake up, a new kind of diabetes. That's what he's been doing to you. Diabetes. Forever. Your mirror pattern shows no sign of type in material. Scanning target. You got nervous around me, didn't you? You also went behind the tape. Man, you just kung fu in there. <laughs> That's like, don't forget to stock, don't forget to restock the drinks machine with your mineral water. Well, I only listened to about half of those instructions. And that's why I'm fired. <laughs> the diabetes randomizer. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there's a, there's like an old, like, like. Oh, hold on a second. This is the only course of action with a significant probability of success. The decompression occurred due to a detonation in the cargo bay. There's a number of responses I could make to this, Chief Illusion. But we are pressed for time, and Dr. Igwe is already showing signs of anxiety and disorientation. Your psychometric data keeps changing. Corrected. That was just a tweet. You're out there? Oh, my science operator. You're one of the good ones, I guess. Man, I hear very loud spooky sounds, though. Maybe there's someone up to something somewhere. Something behind there. I'm, I'm, I'm dubious as to what's behind there. Ah, oh, no, the door's got no power. And the power has no door. Your neural pattern shows no sign of Titan material. Well, there's only one thing to do. Actually, there's probably several things to do, and this is entirely the wrong way, but I'm gonna... Okay, game. Okay, game. I'll, I'll phys... You know, it's my party and I'll physics if I want to. Yep, this is definitely the wrong way to go. But that's okay. Because there's the stairwell back here that we didn't go up. Well, back here that we didn't go up. Oh, this is just some dude's office. He just got... He just got here.
Yeah, I feel bad for Akande. It's like the worst, the worst gig. Null wave coot. Oh well, I got more null waves for uh, for our next encounter with a telepath. That's good. So there's a technopath. There we go. He's gonna be a problem. I feel like he was already always there though. I don't know. Confidential records. So the, te the technopath is the real problem right now. Having to deal with those has been like absolute pain in like both my butts. What are you uh, I would love to know what circumstances I can't scan this this guy, but he's he's very much eating into the floor right now. Come on. Let me see and let me scan you. I swear to God, I hate you so much. Ah, dear. Okay, I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. I think I say that every time. I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. There just really has been, like, how how we do things here in the... Let me just, let me just heal up for a second here, buddy. <laughs> I was starting to realize how much danger I was in there. Uh, yep, I'm just about to drink uh, 20 cans of coffee. You have no idea, you have no idea how much trouble you're in now. I have no idea where any of you have gone. Oh god! That's all the coffee I drank. Okay! I didn't know this was a- Oh, there's like three of you guys! That's a problem. Can I make less of you? Okay. Just, just go down, make a terrible funeral that no one visits. <laughs> okay, I need to eat my pastas and drink 24 thing- Hold on a second. I need some broken. Two fish sticks. Can of eels. And just caviar. And, and from Moonshine. <laughs> you have no idea how drunk I am right now, little guy. You stood no chance. My name is Al my name is Morgan Yu. The drunker I get, the more powerful I get. And the drunker I get. But especially the drunker I get. There we go. Another character sheet, good times. This is supposed to be like a... Oh yeah, there we go. Veggie blend. Uh, tracking bracelet protocol. Enter bracelet ID. Oh, that's right. I don't remember my bracelet ID. Whatever. That was the wrong button. Charge plans? Yeah, I'll admit I don't understand. But I'm sure it's fun. The fact that it was like a treasure hunt is like the least like screwbally thing <laughs> in this entire thing. Like that's the thing that makes the most sense about my adventures so far. Good lord. Just gonna run on the ground. I should get that. Tulips. Go tiptoeing through. All right, back up to uh, at least one round. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Mr. Floating Radioactive Waste. Your neural pattern shows no sign of Titan material. That's right. Get that back up. I've got a lot of neuromods, I really should be injecting more neuromods. 
Well, the real question is, is what can I get the most out of? Stealth. Sneak attack is good. Conditioning. Yeah, conditioning's nice. And... Combat focus. <laughs> the game's like, oh wow, you finally got combat focus. And it just starts gazing around suspiciously. I don't think I opened that that safe, did I? I'll open that safe. Let me go let me go safe it. More thermal shielding! I have so much thermal shielding. It's unbelievable. There you go, friend. You can be you can be active now. If I can remember my own protocol. Software version is <laughs> Although I feel like that's not a thing that's. Let me just actually check the objectives here. Oh, okay. I have to find 1129. So I actually had to do that. Okay. There we go. So now I know where the disgruntled employee thingy is. Oh, that's right. He gets fired. That's the that's the the side story about the dude that gets fired, and he just he he does go he he tries to go on a bit of an adventure with with stuff to get to get back at everyone, and he just tries to fly home, which goes about as well as you could imagine in space. I've barely gone out into space to be honest, and there's so many things I could be doing out there. I ain't gonna do them, by God. Oh, sorry. Can you put this in the safe, please? Okay. That's where I put my beer. I'm just trying to make sense of what that is. A. Uh. Yeah, and then you can track him via the the thing. Trying to proc passwords and stuff, not happening. Man, that they're getting a little uh they're getting a little getting a little spam mainly, some of those uh things about playing with stuff. fit through there, so I can, uh... I can... Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Don't think I don't know you're there, buddy. Dare you try and be an ice cold drink? Oh. He almost got away, you know. Almost got away. <laughs> it actually detonated those things I didn't. That was the thing, is it, it bounced into him and swung around like a psycho and, and did the damage. 
You know, well played, it. Yeah, it's funny, because, like, the, the whole entire purpose of, like, coming up here is you don't have to come up here until, like, you, you know, you've got what you need. You actually need to... Be shushied. You are uh, you still here, buddy? Yeah, he made it, he made it that far before dice floating. You're only really just supposed to like get onto the. Oh, maybe you can't get to it from here. Oh no, that's over there. Oh, it's a whoosh. It's whoosh over here. Like a hole around here somewhere. A drop down. For which you can drop down. Alright, oh, I voted you, didn't I? Oh. Nope, probably somewhere else I have to go in here to get down there. Because there's like a, you know, a security station I gotta get into. Well, maybe I did smack the cans, but I was pretty adamant I didn't. Your neural pattern shows no sign of Titan material. Yeah, I can't. Get into this room easily. Can I just. Yeah, security key, that's all I need. Are you, uh. You're an operated dispenser. Your neural pattern shows no form of Titan material. Do you wanna give me uh, a pep up anyway? Oh. Okay, I don't need it. Yay, Boot. The area map, grab my thermal shielding and my biohazard waste as always. No, I don't need another don't need another weird and wacky bolt caster, thanks very much. Your neural pattern shows no sign of Titan material. Grant access to the central repository access sy control system access repository. Checking for updates. Alright, let's uh gravity detected. Someone actually just tried to sneak up on us and died, so good for them. Right then, time to equip uh, our most faithful weapon, the one that's been carrying us through the entire game. Plenty more of them. Anybody else? Oh man, you are, you guys are well and truly flying around me like, wow, a great amount, actually. I've probably filled this space with so many of these goddamn things, I don't even think the cystoids know where they're going anymore. Ah, oh, look, space eel. That guy's stuck in the floor by the looks of things, so I probably shouldn't worry too much about him. snack I can chew on. Actually, now that I think about it, don't I kind of, I keep forgetting, but isn't there just like a button I can press to like make snacking easier? Yeah. So. There we go. Man, it took me ages to remember that one. Yeah, where's the stasis mimic is the real question. I don't know where you guys were. Blasting in my ear. But I'm sure I've made a wonderful series of fire hazards for myself. Yeah, it's definitely a mimic that's in stasis right now, which is kind of impressive.
Come here, you. Okay, come back here, you. No one told you to fly away from me at high speeds. Thank you. Thank you. Bloody rude. It confirms what I thought. The neuromod extraction process leaves no trace of your former memories, even particularly strong ones. System restored. January protocol. Online. I'm back. Alice is escape pod will see you safely to Earth. Ah, oh, dude, you just did you kill my friends? Yeah, you killed my friends. Well, I actually hurt him, by the way. I don't know if any of the rest of you saw that, but I actually hurt him with that. Faithful of Flexi Bolt actually wounded the Phantom. <laughs> He's so confused. He hates it. Oh, please contact engineering. Here's a weaver. Off doing weaver things. Come back, I need to scan you. There it is, the skeletal trauma. Well, I guess I need to scan you too, I guess. I guess. And yeah, that is very unnecessary. I can't believe you've done this. Protect me, my slave! Okay, we are in trouble now. And that's what it would like, I think. I'd like to see you get me now. I'm coming for you, Mr. Weaver. You, you can't you can't rely on you can't rely on your friends to protect you forever. Gave up. I'll need a potato chip. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot of things. All right, now we gotta. Now we gotta go do the, the download station thing. <laughs> These are, these are things that could easily be solved by checking objectives, but by God, I have not. I'm not going to be doing anything like checking objectives anytime soon. I already did it once. After a, a wonderful streak of not having checked them. Really, that's just plain rude. Oh, well, there's my arming key. something isn't there
course there's a little justice. Look, no need to stand here. Get moving. I'll keep the transcribe open. You need to get to deep storage. Problem is, the lock. Ma. Uh, Morgan, there's not much time. Please, no offense to your brother. But that should be enough. Try the kitchen. Did you try the kitchen? I thought they demoted you. Sent you Earthside. It's because I don't want her joining us just yet, Abby. We didn't have enough time. The two of us. Yeah, she's fine. And we're through. God, the adventure just is... is continuing. Oh yes, of course, this little bit. Can I put this back in? Nope. <laughs> and now we just slam ourselves around. Cunningly, how they how they get you into the transition of space without uh <laughs> without having to like fake loading screen you. They just real loading screen you with a with a with a hard drive to the face. It's great. I don't think it. <laughs> I just <laughs> oh dear. All right. No gravity detected. You're not what they say so you are. Can you hear us? <laughs> Rejecting the new cell lines, fighting them off like an antivirus. <laughs> Space travel. Remember, it's the eradicator fabrication plan we want, not the reployer plan. Whatever the hell a reployer is. Morgan, cargo bay doors been sealed shut. There's creatures flooding the area. We don't want them getting out. Any more than they already have. Let's go over here first. I'm kind of fond of this one. This dude went over to like set off a warning to let everybody know that like something was fucking was going on. But he probably got killed while he was out there. So he's just kind of tangled up in everything now. It's uh, kind of tricky to get though, because everything's moving very quickly. Kind of semi frustrated trying to do this. Every neuromod takes a snapshot of your brain and models what it would look like if you learned something new. Then it makes those changes. Billions of connections remapped in a matter of minutes, all made possible by our friends from outer space. Dahl, this is Morgan. Goodbye, Morgan. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> That's just like one of my favorite things. Uh, yeah. We got a 
hull breach, we've got cargo bay, self-destruct key. And I think I am honestly may just cap it off for now. We're about to hit four hours, uh, you know, a good hour of Resident Evil, three hours of Prey Randomizer. And it does start continue, well it does continue to get involved, because I believe Dr. Ikiwe is going to be outside floating in that box there. And once we get close enough that's going to kickstart the, the adventures of saving Dr. Ikiwe. And uh, he's going he's gonna to have a lot of things to say, so we might actually save that for, uh, for Ikiwe experimentation next time. I hope this is making anybody too dizzy. <laughs> oh god, this game is the, the this game is a blessed mind trip. It really is. Just the randomizer on. Got one neuromod. One neuromod and a mess of just I need to get some rid of some of these. Is there anything I've got that gives material yield? Not really. Just one or two items. I have to like blend most of the furniture. Oh yeah, please. I'll have to remember to chuck more null waves into the uh, into the thing because I need more of this. More gun bullets. More gun bullets are very important. It's funny to note actually. Uh, I think I would get. Oh no, that's for the entire yield. I was gonna say it looks like you'd get quite a lot of uh, of material yield out of that one, but that's for all eighty-eight. Yeah. See, there you go. So yeah, never mind. Anyway, getting getting ahead and behind of myself. Thank you everybody for joining us for another fun stream, or at least I thought it was fun, I was enjoying myself immensely. We will be back maybe tomorrow? Maybe my usual, you know, Australian Wednesday stream, because my my time off goes for just a little over a week more. Uh, uh, it's like, not, not this coming Friday, but the Friday afterwards is when I go back to work. So it's like the first Friday of September, so I've still got you know, a little over a week to just play video games. And I don't know, I'm still trying I'm still trying to decide what I'm gonna do because this this coming this coming Saturday is in fact my birthday. Uh, and unfortunately I'm going to be doing it lockdown. <laughs> That's the worst part. Uh, I may I may just try and do something fun for myself and everybody else for mental health reasons when that uh, when that rolls around. But until then, thank you everybody for watching. Tomorrow, if I do stream, we'll probably do some more Prey Randomizer. Unless something just yanks me out and makes me play something else. See y'all next time, and yeah, have a nice, good, safe one.